Hey, what's going on YouTube? Jaeger the Viking here, bringing you some NBA 2K13. Michael Jordan create a legend in this one, taking on Brandon Roy and the Minnesota Timberwolves. You know, Brandon Roy made for a great opponent in this one. Good offensive player, not so impressive on defense though. Starting off though against Chase Buttinger, and I'm just going to drive in there getting the jam. He could not keep up with me. Now guarding Ricky Rubio, he's going to dish it inside. I'm going to come in trying to get a board, but they're going to get the offensive board. Kick it out to Rubio, who's going to hit AK-47 wide open for a layup right now. Baseline, just trying to drive in there. I'm going to go in thinking of going up with it, but it did not seem like the right decision. Going to give it to Tyrus Thomas. I felt like I deserved a decision an assist there but unfortunately it bounced off a defender and here off a steal hustling down the floor and jamming it down on the fast break good steal right there fast breaks were something we really did well in this game it's something i find i do quite well i i think i think it's just something with jordan yeah i do a good job hustling down there and then i he's just so quick and i'm able to beat the defenders down the floor so you know i get a lot of nice fast break jams not just in this game but i find typically when i'm playing with jordan i do that but right here, driving in there, going to get the and one fouled as I jam it down over a ton of defenders. Just jamming it down on half their team right there. But get the free throw to go, and one converted. And Kemba, I don't know why he's not passing me the ball. I'm sitting there wide open, but he is just going to embarrass their whole team. Right there, I give it to Brandon Haywood, who cannot hold on to the ball, but he recovers it and lays it up in time to get me an assist. Right now, giving it to Kemba at the end of the shot clock, who is able to get the trade to go. Right here, just trying to do something. Get him with a pump fake, and I'm going to drive in, jamming it down again. I don't even know why he bit on the pump fake. He didn't really bite on the pump. He tried to steal it coming down from the pump, and I don't know why, but he just let me go right past him. And right here, getting in there, going with a pump fake, and then a standing dunk. Impressive when a guard can dunk from right under the basket. You know, didn't even need to have any momentum, just off a pump fake, getting up there and jabbing it down. But right now, trying to drive, trying to cross him over a bit, thinking of going up with it, but I instead go with a no-look behind the back pass to Tyrus Thomas, who hits that mid-range baseline jumper, and right here, going for a jam, but getting fast. Getting to the line though, and I'm going to get both free throws to go. You know, did a good job at the line this one. I find I typically do a good job at the line, you know. Even if you stop me from dunking on you, I'm still going to put up two points most of the time. And right here, driving in, going with a spin, going to pump, and then jumping up again. Another dunk from right under the basket. One-handed jam right there, you know, nothing too flashy, just getting two points. Driving in right there, and it's going to get blocked, but we're able to recover and lay that back in. Right here, Euro stepping in there, going to give it to Haywood. They're going to call a bad pass. I think that should have been an assist, too. Right here, going, just laying it up. You know, contested, so I couldn't go for a jam, but I am able to get the layup to go. Driving in right now, going for a spin slam, but I get fouled, sent to the line. I'm going to get the first one to go, and the second, both free throws, able to fall. Right here, Brandon Roy is just going to drain it in my face, but here, off a steal, I'm hustling down the floor, and I'm going to jam that one down. On the fast break, and let's look at this replay. No one around me, so I'm just going to go up with intensity. One-handed jam, 88 dunk intensity on the meter. You know, sometimes I don't understand that meter, though. It was a nice dunk, but it wasn't, like, the best dunk I've seen in this game. You know, you see some dunks that aren't even good that get, like, really high intensity, and some that are amazing that get really low. I really don't understand how that meter works, but look at this right here. Driving in there, defenders all over the place. Four defenders, five defenders even. The whole team is there, and I just dunk on them. The entire team right there, and I'm able to jam it down and get fouled, sent to the line, getting the and one to go. Yo, know, you can't let your whole team get dunked on like that. You know, I know Jordan's good, but you've got to have one player who's good enough to D up Jordan there, you know? To have the I come down between all five Timberwolves players. That was impressive there. But right here, driving in, gonna get fouled, trying for the layup, but I could not get it to go. Getting both shots from the stripe, though. 
and right here they're gonna get an alley-oop you know, no one deed him up and they get the alley-oop to go flashy right there but here I accidentally heaved it down court but it worked out I didn't even mean to pass it, but here I just quarterback it down the floor, and we get the dunk, giving me an assist. I really, when I saw that ball release, I thought I was going to get a turnover. You know, I thought they would intercept it. I thought I would throw it out of bounds, but I do get the pass to go. And right here, jamming it down on defenders again. I don't know what they were doing. They could just not get up with Jordan. I'm just jamming down on their whole team over and over. But right here, getting multiple players to go on the pump. But I still wasn't feeling it. So I'm going to give it to Kemba on the elbow who gets the mid-range jumper to go. And right here, hustling it down on a break. Rubio is going to D me up though. And I can't get the layup to go. He gets the board. But right here, I got the ball again. Going to Euro step in there. Getting fouled. Missing the layup. But going to get to the line for two shots. And I get those shots to go again. I was doing such a good job at the line in this game, put up a lot of points there. Right here, driving in, laying it up, nothing fancy, but getting two points. Uh, the game wanted it a uh, clear out for me. Haywood stays posting up his man. I just drive in there. He gives me the ball, and I'm able to lay it up right there, trying to dunk on their team again, trying to make an example out of them. This time, they're going to foul me, and I'm going to get to go to the line for two shots, get both to fall. Right here, they've got a full court press going. They know they need to make something happen. And I'm going to pull up for a mid-range jumper in their faces. Getting that one to fall without a problem. Right here, Brandon Roy going to hit it in my face. And right now, on the full court press, they were just not doing a good job keeping up with me. So I'm going to pass it there. And I wanted to hit 50 in this game, so I see I'm double teamed, but I was still trying to make something happen. Instead, we end up kicking it out, though, getting the ball to Kemba, who gets the tray to go. Up 13 with just a couple minutes left. And right now, we're going to get a steal. I'm running down the floor, and I'm going to lose the ball. And they're going to pick that up, jamming it down right there. But here we go. Another dunk late in the game. I mean, I was dunking so much. They could not guard me in the slightest in this game. Look at that dunk doing a pull-up at the end for added effect. But here we go, driving in again. I really want to put some more points up. You know, six points to go. But right here, giving it to Brandon Haywood is going to get that layup to go. They're not going to give me an assist, though. But, you know, it is what it is. Right here off of Brandon Roy miss. I'm hustling down the floor, just driving in there, jamming it down. They, I don't know what they were doing. They were not doing a good job getting back to the basket, just letting me run right by them and jamming it down. Yo, they just didn't even attempt to guard me on that one. But, uh, you know, I don't know what they were doing. Anyway, jab stepping right here. They're going to bring a double team. I'm trying to drive in there, but it's not working out. So I do this. It was a terrible decision on my end. But that shot was phenomenal. Awful decision on the shot. But I still get it to go. I shot from behind the basket. And it just it rolled in. I don't know what happened. But it went. Anyway, that's the end of this video, guys. Short video this time. But, uh, or no, it wasn't short. I, I got confused because I... I don't know, I had to cut my audio halfway through, so it wasn't a short video, I'm just getting confused, scratch that. But anyway, that is the end of this video, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, I would really appreciate it if you dropped a like, you know, support this series, support my content. But anyway, that's it, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'm